You're right. I did say when you take a no, when you take the even root of a negative radicand. The difference is this is an odd root. So therefore, we are going to have a solution. Um, no, oh, the the root the root's going to be your uh, the index now. To do a problem like this, you guys could break it down by using your factor tree. But I really don't want to use a factor tree of 250. That's why I'm saying this, the factor tree works great to understand what you're doing. But it beca can become you know, a lot of math to do if you have higher numbers. So the way that I, as I mentioned to you guys, that I like to use is here are my square numbers. Write down the list of cube numbers. Oh, shoot, I forgot to write. So 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. And 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. All right? So now, what I'm going to want to do is rewrite all of these terms as a term of cube numbers. You guys notice that 250 is not going to be a cube number. Actually, I don't know what 7 cubed is off the top of my head, but I know it's not 250. But do any of these numbers divide into 250? 125. 125. So what I can do is rewrite this as the cube root of negative 125 times 2. You can do it, but we're going to want to take out that negative in there. Um, but you can leave it. It, it will you know, work either way. Then. How do we simplify with the variables? Remember, the cube root of x cubed is just equal to anybody? Anybody? What is the cube root? x, right? So I want to rewrite x to the sixth power as as many x cubes as possible. You guys agree? x squared. Would be what? x squared. Yeah, yeah, that's very good. Well, I'm going to write it out, though, first. So it's going to be x cubed times x cubed. And then y to the fifth is going to have to be written as y cubed times y squared. Does everybody agree with me? Does everybody see how I wrote that out? Because the more and more practice you get with this, the less and less work you have to do. So now, what is the cube root? What number multiplied by itself three times gives you neg negative 125? Five. Negative 5. Be careful. So that's, that's why the negatives can sometimes get tricky. So because negative 5 times negative 5 is positive 25 times negative. And then x cubed times x is x. Cube root of x squared is x. So where there's your x squared. Cube root of y cubed is y. And then what do we have left over? The cube root of 2y squared. Then we just simplify this. And that's it.